What the heck? Pick up. All zombies lose it. Wait, is this gobble gums? What is it called? Brutus? A giant robot of Brutus? And we're gonna go down. Yeah, probably the closest thing we're gonna get to an actual zombies experience this year. Right? Please fix, 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 fix. Oh, yes. All right, and welcome back, guys. And they have actually accidentally added a round-based game mode to COD Mobile, and you kind of got to do a weird glitch to get it. I know this is something that's been in the game before, and I think it's actually on one of the Chinese things. But uh, in the game right now, after the update today, in the current state of COD Mobile, you can go to new, you can go down to uh, play Undead Siege Nightmare Mode. And if you press go, it actually takes you into something that's not normally in the menus here. You can see Undead Siege Normal. This isn't something you can play normally. And we can go ahead and make our class here. You says it says Shinonuma right here. It's got all this other stuff. And if we go ahead and press start without fill, Undead Siege Normal and yeah, no other way to access this. I don't know if they're gonna let it stay like this, but this is the old Zombies Mode in COD Mobile, now playable. And, oh, it, and it's kind of buggy. I don't think all the assets are in the game. It has this weird skip screen, but as you can see, you spawn in with the M1911 and you've got the boss round and 10 rounds. So yeah, you even the audio doesn't go off, but you can play a round based mode in COD Mobile before it's available for Vanguard. It's got like the almost robotic stuff which is very interesting it means this entire game mode is currently in the game for cod mobile but only available in the the chinese version here so let's go ahead i think it's even got pack a punch i'm not sure if there's a pack a punch camo i think that's going to be our goal if we can pack a punch our weapon and see a pack a punch camo that's going to be uh that's going to be a little ridiculous so what does this do uh reduces See, I don't know if Quick Revive in this. There's something else like Normal Revives. So I don't think Quick Revive actually revives you in solo. Reduces time spent to revive teammates. Probably not. But uh, yeah, if they were to introduce something like this. Uh, open door. Uh, into Vanguard Zombies. It'd be amazing. I mean, Shinonuma's already in the freaking game. So it's wouldn't be that insanely hard to do. Or maybe if they could accidentally add it in as a glitch, that'd be kind of cool. I am playing this on PC and I have made a full guide kind of up to date showing you exactly what you need to do to install and play this on PC. So if you want to see that, that's going to be linked below. Go ahead, pick up the repair parts. Oh my, we're going to buy a weapon. And there's the Pack-a-Punch machine. So yeah, you guys know that this is not normal Shinonuma. Obviously, there's not normally a Pack-a-Punch machine on this map and there's usually not weird machines like this. Supplies, what is, what the heck? body armor oh this is the supply crate so this is where you can make custom weapons just like in the normal undead siege mode that's pretty sick about to, how do points work let me see how points work oh so points work like old zombies we get points per shot so we don't want the shotgun there's the mystery box i think there is a ray gun in the game i don't know the chances of us getting it but that is a weird looking bit look at the everything about this looks weird M4, I will take it. Our goal this game is to pack a punch and see if there's a pack a punch camo. I think we've got to get, yeah, electronic bits missing. I think we've got to open these doors and kind of scavenge the map for electronic bits. But uh, yeah, this is a very interesting COD Mobile update. There was a lot more than just this stuff added. They've added a bunch of new tiers and stuff. I'm probably gonna make a full video either on my main channel or the second channel about that. And what is this? Buy coins, what? What the heck? Pick up. All zombies lose it. Wait, is this gobble gums? Wait, what the? Oh, this is a gobble gum machine. I feel like this game, this mode isn't supposed to be in the US version. That's why a lot of the textures are missing. I don't even think it has us download this normally unless. So that's why a lot of things just aren't fully textured like that. Oh, that would be a good point weapon. I, yeah, PDW, that is something I wanna get. Let's look for the electronic parts here. And I wonder, uh, we're not farming a lot of points. I wonder if the Pack-A-Punch is as insanely expensive as it normally is, if it's the 5,000 or if it's gonna be a little bit cheaper. I don't know a whole lot about this because this is the only gameplay that I've actually seen of this that's in US that isn't from forever ago. What? I don't even see a round counter. Boss round at round 10, but I don't, I don't even see what round we're on. We gotta get ready for that. I do wanna buy perks and everything too. How do I use the gobble gum? Nope. Pulls out a shovel. Interesting. Oh, 
more pack-a-punch parts repair parts required uh i'm not sure if all of the i don't know if there's other buildables i don't know if all the parts we're getting are going to be going to the pack-a-punch machine or if they're going to other buildable stuff but we'll find it there's an ak on the wall uh another gobble gum machine it's really weird that they went with robots but the robots work exactly like zombies would they don't have any other spell like you know like laser eyes anything else that can shoot at you why is this lit up oh there's a part what the oh uh, okay did not expect that that is what is it called brutus a giant robot a brutus and we're gonna go down yep squad down free revives don't mind if i do pay to win just buy yourself back up i do really still want to pack holy freaking crap how do i take this thing out my weapon's not doing anything to this wait wait Oh, I was seeing if you could pause the game. It doesn't look like you can pause the game. <laughs> uh, so it's got that in common with Vanguard Zombies. There is no pause feature. This thing is ridiculous. I don't know if you're really meant to play this solo or if this is one of the zombies experiences that you really want to be playing co-op because holy crap, this thing is an... A Let's turn on the trap. Let's turn on the trap. Let's turn on the trap. Let's... Here we go. Cost us a thousand points. Totally worth it though. I think it took him out. That's the strat, boys. I think that took him out immediately. Okay, that was definitely freaking worth it. But I do want to get that nuke. I don't know if... Come on, Flogger. Come on, Flogger. Oh, come on, Flogger. Um, I think we've already gone through this one and got the pack-a-punch part here. Is the, dude, that thing is still going on. Yeah, that, that nuke's a goner. We're not going to get it. I wanted the free points, but we can completely live without it. Um... I don't remember if we got the part from here or not. We've kind of just been autopiloting. Not gonna... What the hell? Wait, no. Oh! The zombies are invisible. What the heck? Oh, what the... What? Uh... Alright, let's fix the pack a bunch machine. I don't... Oh. Uh, this is probably GG. I don't know if this is what normally happens. I guess we'll try another game, but, uh, can we shoot the zombies even though they're invisible? No. Okay. So yeah, this is now really starting to be like the newer zombie games where zombies are invisible, except the entire freaking horde. You can see them on the mini map. We're not getting any points. They're invisible and invincible. Great. Um... I just want to pack a punch. I want to see the freaking pack a punch camo. If there is even one in the game, uh, we're going to lose. Yep, this is GG. Uh, I guess I'll try one more game and see if this happens the next game. But this might just unfortunately be the reality of this since this is an unreleased mode. Oh, wait. All right, hold on. Hold on. Ah, ah, ah. Build a pack a punch. I think that might be the last part. I think this might be the last part. Please fix, 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 fix. Oh, yes. Oh, no. Well, um, oh, so we, dang it. Ah, uh, did we pack a punch? Uh, I think we did. Does it have a key? No, come on. Oh, okay. So we did pack a punch. All right. Th this is, like I said, you're really not supposed to be able to play this. So it's kind of buggy. I think this, we're going to keep running into issues like this. We pack a punched and no, just like Vanguard Zombies, there is no Pack-a-Punch. And I'm not going to keep wasting all my revive tokens. This is unfortunately the current state. But I did have a lot of fun getting to this point in time. And hopefully they eventually fully release this to COD Mobile. Because this is probably the closest thing we're going to get to an actual Zombies experience this year. I don't think Vanguard's really going to go many places. Like I said, this one update for COD Mobile added more Zombies content than Vanguard currently has and probably will have the entire time it's getting updates. This was a massive overhaul to things like this. So if we can start seeing maps like this in COD Mobile, that's kind of where new Zombies content's going to lie at. It's where we're going to be getting new stuff and sadly the only place. But like I said, if you guys are new here and want to sub, I would greatly appreciate. We're going to have tons of Zombies content, whether that be COD Mobile, um, Vanguard if they add stuff to that, Cold War, 
some of the older games, Infinite Warfare, Advanced Warfare. Throughout this year, I definitely want to play some of that, whether it be on this channel or the secondary channel, also linked below. And then we're going to have daily videos posted on Facebook if you also want to check that out. Uh, I'm going to this one here. Thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Oh, hey there. Thank you for watching the entire video. I've got to take this last moment here to give a huge thanks to everyone who came to Twitch sub or a YouTube member. And extra special thanks to those who have taken above and beyond and became an Unlock Plus Plus member on YouTube. We've got the 2X Trader Purple. We've got the most OP Gobblegum ever, Round Robin. We have the hero, Arrow Pharaoh and then we've got the absolute legend Peyton Perkins. Once again, gotta get a huge thanks to all of them for becoming Unlock++ members here on YouTube.